I know a couple days now, but it's not a contact jersey. How are you feeling getting bumped around, doing all the things that almost make you back to being a regular NHL player? Yeah, no, it's like I said, it's it's obviously good to be back with everyone and take a little bit of uh, licks and see how I do. And um, just day to day for me right now. Are you restricted in anything that you would normally do in your game to game, day to day stuff? Nope, nope. Uh, cleared for, for everything. How's your body reacting to the to the physicality of practices and stuff like that? Yeah, it's it's been it's been pretty good. Uh, you know, a little bit of an adjustment, but it's uh, you know just working out the kinks and and you know uh, I'm getting close, but not not uh, not enough to where I think I can help this team right now. But uh, I'm closer than than not. Is the fact that it was an upper body injury at least did that allow you to skate and do cardio stuff so you're not kind of starting from ground zero? as you're getting back into the process? Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, you know, obviously before when I wasn't skating, I was able to, you know, get on the treadmill and on the bike and right. the elliptical and the verse climber and uh, the skier. I mean, there's everything you could think of. Uh, so yeah, I, I've obviously tried to stay in shape as much as I could, um, but it's obviously, there's nothing you could do to stay in hockey shape uh, unless you're obviously skating. Yeah, that, that was kind of going to be my question about conditioning. <laughs> Missed a lot of camp, and obviously, the, you know, you're jumping in. These guys have played for a, a month and a half. How far behind do you feel from a hockey shape standpoint? You know, I, I, obviously, I was able to, other than play any exhibition games, I was, you know, participating in pretty much uh, all of training camp. You know, the, all, a lot of the, the heavy skating, and, and then I was obviously off the ice for a little bit. But uh, the last couple of weeks, I've been, you know, slowly but surely revving it up and to, to get to 100%. Uh, and I did that. Uh, earlier uh, in the week, and I'm just going day by day right now. For skilled guys, they always say it's it's the feel of the puck, getting the touch, getting the hands back. Do you feel like your timing is getting closer to being there? Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to I guess that judge time. that just because like um, you know if if I was playing and if I we had a day off, even one day off, even if I played 30 games and I took a day off, I still feel like that next practice day my timing is just a little bit off. Maybe it's more mental than not, but. So obviously not playing any games. It's going to take uh, you know a game or two to get uh, adjusted. But uh, we're on a pretty good uh, schedule for me right now. So uh, I've revved it up a lot and uh, you know feeling good. I feel like my timing is is pretty solid. But you really won't know until you play a game. Kim, I know you said you, you don't want to talk about the details of the injury, but we we talked to Chuck earlier this week and he said that this was something that you dealt with before. Why do you think it just took longer this time versus the, the first time? Uh, I think it's just uh, you know a little bit different, uh, more severe injury that uh, it takes a little bit more time to let it heal naturally, uh, and you know that's that's all I really say about that. <laughs> when you say that like your day to day, how do you kind of check in with yourself or evalu evaluate yourself at the end of each skate, every workout, to just like make sure that you're kind of in the right direction. Yeah, I mean, uh, with the team that we got here, the uh, medical guys and uh, you know our strength guys, we're on a pretty strict protocol uh, as far as percentage and you're, uh, working off your workload of a game-like situation. So um, the last two weeks, I've obviously slowly but surely revved it up to you know get to back-to-back -back game situation, and uh, it's good that obviously my legs and everything are there, my recovery is there, but I'm still not uh, comfortable putting myself in a position to. Uh, you know, to play a game, and until that, I'm just going to have to keep going day by day.